Hey guys, Ellison Cruz here. Welcome back to Eternal Sonata. We just got up the uh, Mount uh, Mount Rock, I guess. Yes, yeah, very very nice name. They couldn't think of any more uh, music related names, so they just said Rock because <laughs> that's what it is. But anyway, here we're gonna fight a pretty tough guy. He's not too bad. I'm gonna be using Algretto, uh, Algretto, uh, Falsetto, and Jazz now. I don't know if you want to switch in viola for falsetto, but uh, personally, falsetto is actually one of our strongest characters right now, and if we need to heal, I'll just use an item. But uh, for this, I'm going to take off her recovery gloves, and I'm going to go ahead and put them on Allegretto just in case, since we don't have our healing stuff, so. Uh, where are you? Where? There you are. And actually, I don't know. For I think since Allegretto actually has our lowest health, I'll give it to Jazz, or I'll give the recovery gloves to Jazz and the recovery orb to what's his face, because Jazz kind of has a lot and we can heal up, and Jazz is way goddamn powerful. So, all right, this looks good. We're not entirely healed, but let's go fight this guy or these guys. Hint, hint, hint. Just kidding. Ah, but this is a lengthy cutscene. I'm so excited. I don't even know where I put my remote. Somewhere that I don't care about. I don't care. It's like, God, this place is so beautiful. God, it was just green like a second ago. Now it's all barren and dead. Barren and dead. Mm. After we get over this ridge, the rest of the way will all be downhill. Literally. Yes, we're almost in Forte territory. From this point on, we should be especially careful not to reveal. <laughs> yeah, like they haven't already made it completely obvious by their hey, clothing and guys. talking out loud. <laughs> like, oh god damn it. Children. What? <laughs> what? Well, you caught up with us sooner than I would have expected. I thought that we would at least make it to Forte first. Well you guys suck. We actually haven't gotten going through this pretty quickly. Uh, Feels like these levels have been getting shorter, but we made it in time. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? <laughs> it's like, well, actually, I'm of royalty. I can just have you guys, you know, executed. Princess, how could you leave without telling anyone in Baroque Castle? Everyone is really worried about you. And you come to this conclusion with what evidence? We will. Exactly. <laughs> Baroque will surrender unconditionally. What? They're surrendering? If I turn myself directly over to Waltz, I'll make him understand that I am Actually, serious. we already knew that, but whatever. You just die in vain. <laughs> Waltz is not that sympathetic. <laughs> Maybe not. But if I were to speak with him, I believe he would spare the prince. What makes you think he'll do that? Even if I sacrifice my own life in the process. <laughs> wow. After now we're getting all, all sentimental. things that I have done. It is the very least I can do to make up for it. And then Waltz will invade after Baroque is thrown into chaos from the loss of its prince. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Anyone can see that's what's going to happen. Anyone can see. Yes, that's right. If you abandon Baroque now, then... I know we're screwed. <laughs> no, B, don't. What's that? Oh my god! It's Charizards! They're just gonna. They're already invading? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe we just disturb their nest. Uh oh. Looks like there it's Count so Waltz. Damn it. He's like, this hurts my behind. In the skies overhead. Legato, we're descending. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. I just realized how much Legato looks so much like Look, other NPCs in this game. Like the guy in the warp room. Even if we battled a force of that size, we'd have no chance of defeating. You know what, Jazz? If your range and, and your power, I think we us. could take him out kind of no we'll problem. Just continue on to invade Baroque. <laughs> so it looks like they as. Do, Jazz? Crescendo and Serenade are going off to, condition, to unconditionally to surrender. Forte is coming to invade. No. No. What's happening? Boom. OK. 
Maybe the weird ass hand things. God, look at that. They're like breasts. <laughs> and then they have like well, gobbler necks. Rude of me to make you come all the way to Forte. <laughs> so I thought I'd come to meet you halfway. Wow. And then somehow Serenade took off like all her clothes. <laughs> As leader of Baroque, I surrender to you unconditionally. He's like, oh, too bad, so sad. Kills. I do not want Just to make kidding. the people of my kingdom suffer under the fear of war any longer. <sighs> you seem to be a noble prince who cares about his subjects. However, I'm afraid I cannot give you a response without some kind of guarantee. Hmm. That I am standing here in front of you is proof of my word. I am turning myself over to Forte. Serenade, don't do anything stupid. And in exchange, I ask that you not harm in any way Serenade or these people here, as well as the citizens of Baroque. They're like, uh... <laughs> Capturing me should satisfy your goals. Well, it's no fun if you come here yourself. Uh-oh. Serenade, stepping forward. Count Waltz, hear me. All this time I have kept a close watch to make sure that Baroque made no move. That they never invaded Forte. I carefully monitored everything there to make sure they never took action. And I was fully aware that by doing this, I was choosing to give my support to you and to Forte. Gasp! How could you, Serenade, you traitor? So, through it all. I was following the path that I believed to be right. Christian was like, I'm touched. I realized I was mistaken in my actions. However, and then, never mind. <laughs> it is true that no move has been made to go forward, but by just staying in the same place. Pete's like, I don't know what's going on. Problems we face can ever be resolved. Josh would be pretty pissed. <laughs> I came to realize that one side would need to take a step back in order for things to change. Change it. And change so you're it. That Baroque has taken a step back? <laughs> wow. Yes, that is correct. Perhaps. Maybe. The fact that we are standing uh. here now, at your mercy, is surely proof of that. It requires much more courage to take a step back. Than it does to take a step forward. Would you not agree? Are you calling us cowards? After all, there is no guarantee that there will be ground to stand upon. God, I've already finished like half this cup of coffee in this five minute cutscene, God. Please do not make our courage meaningless. Join hands with Baroque and let us walk forward together in peace. Okay, you're kind of pushing your luck, Serenade. It should be clear as the light of day to all concerned that continuing with this mutual animosity will benefit absolutely no one in the end. <laughs> He's like, I'm 14 and I don't know what any of this is means. Is no longer a concern at all. And I have even less interest in Baroque's weakling prince. <gasps> what? This is my surprised face. What we are interested in right now is that girl. Ooh, so it looks like they weren't even going to invade Baroque after all. They're like, well, that entire five-minute segment was entirely unnecessary. We just wanted Polka. <laughs> what? <laughs> God, it's like 20 feet away, so and then it, like, zooms in all fast. Us. What? <laughs> My left arm will protect her for all of eternity. And, of course, we promise to treat the young lady with the utmost care and civility. Which, of course, is why we brought, like, an armada of goddamn dragons. Don't Dragonites. Don't for a minute that I'm gonna fall for that kind of sweet talk again. <laughs> oh, yeah, Salsa got tricked. It's very important to us that this young lady remain in only the best of <laughs> Oh, them. Salsa, you're so gullible. We have no intention of making a prisoner of her. We will make sure she lives the rest of her life in comfort. But you, on the other hand, is like, how could anyone ever want that for Polka? <laughs> you see, we all want the same thing. So, what will you do? We will do nothing. Gee, what do you think we'll do? This is an RPG. When has there ever been a peaceful resolution to any conflict? And guess what? Here comes Polka's... Just... Abrasiveness coming through. 
She's like, I'll sacrifice myself for the good of everyone. What? Oh, She's like, I'm right here. You don't have to yell at Algretto. It's okay. Don't worry about me. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Don't cry, Algretto. I made a decision when I left Tenuto. What decision was that again? So many cutscenes have passed. I completely forgot. Doing things that help people. That's the whole point of my journey. Yay! Frederick's like, this is a bad idea. What a good girl you are. I wish there were more like you. It's not suggestive. Uh, <laughs> no, no beat. Polka, don't do it. Don't go with them. Beat. She's. Uh. Damn it. <laughs> Oh. Okay. It is implied that I bit you in the face. <laughs> Calm down, young man. Try to refrain. I hate when games do that. They like they did exactly what that did. It was just Orgy not even showing. To just throw away this historic piece that has finally been achieved. Take my hand and we can be lovers. Except not. Oh, Please Polka. Step right this way. She's like, I'm waiting. <laughs> God, that kid reminds me of, like, sounds weird, Andy from Toy Story. Just like, I don't know. It's confirmed, just blonde haired, I guess. And with purple eyes. And wearing queer clothes, but that's just me. So the glowing go goes hey, has been achieved. What's with that light? Beat, have you even been watching this entire. Never mind. I'm gonna put some sunshine in a bag and call it a day. Uh oh, don't do it. Don't do it. So he put the glowing a go go in mineral powder. Just as you surmised. And apparently, it's evil. Because <laughs> I guess the same color of my clothes. And Polka's all of a sudden a lot farther away than she was. Oh! Pimp slap. Legato, take the girl and get out of here. But do be careful with her. <laughs> of course, he has to like throw his head back and laugh. And delayed polka reaction. Well, now I have no real use for any of these others, so I'll just play with you for a little amusement. All right, now we fight. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. Okay, so. This music actually is pretty awesome, by the way. I gotta just admit. Um, Leg uh, Legato. Um, he's pretty tough. He's got quite a lot of HP and he's pretty strong, so. Uh, you don't want to attack this stupid dragon. He's kind of pointless, and if he comes near us, we can just go ahead and uh, do some uh, double attacks that Falsetto's not gonna guard against. Well, let's try this. But sometimes we can hit both of them at the same time, and that'll be really awesome. Like, I think I'll be able to uh, attack both the dragon and... Yeah, right here. See? Look at that. Look at... Uh, okay, here. I probably should have taken out the cursed armor. but So, and then maybe we can get the dragon on this one. There we go. Right. So, oops. So, he has some kind of, like, really delayed attacks. Like, sometimes you won't even know where, but... Go and I'm gonna try and get a uh, false or er, jazz and uh, Algretto in the light. And the dragon is really whoa. Okay, I thought he died. The dragon's really weak, as you can tell. He's doing hardly anything except I can guard against that. Nope, don't attack jazz. Volcano concussio. Or concussio. Oh no. I should use a club clover here pretty soon, actually. I'll just use it with the. Uh... You know what? Screw this. Let's do this. All right, now we can probably get both of them. I want to get rid of this stupid dragon though. Just because generally they're pretty annoying. And he's not. Nope. Club clover time. Crap. Oh, and Jazz is dead. 
Of course he starts attacking Jazz when I put the good healing item on Algretto, god. Alright. Probably should use a angel trumpet here pretty soon. There we go. Alright, now we can concentrate our attacks on this jerk that I missed. And look at my shadows, they're like opposite. Oh, come on, Jazz. Alright, let's go ahead and use a floral extract. Alright, let's see if we can do it. Oh, probably not. Damn it, but this is like the first. Well, I had to use an item, so it's completely understandable. Ah, I hate the cutscene that shows the attack because I completely missed. Death. Not death. <laughs> Alright, now let's see. Do we want to. Yeah, let's do Starlight thing. But powered up. Starlight Alright. Oh, yes. Little extra spark. And. Boom! With the sun slash and death. Except not. Oh, Apocalypse Fall. Apocalypse fail! What a joyous feeling. God. I'll let you have a taste of it as well. You're kidding me! Apocalypse. There, I guarded against it because you suck. Alright, since Jazz is going next, might as well use Snowclaw. Oh, damn it, I just needed one more, I think. And he's not quite. So let's get in a pretty good attack here. No problem. And... Geo dude, Tackle! Oh, he's almost dead. Falsetta, or I mean, Algrado's probably gonna kill him. The 16 Starlight Blast. And yeah, alright, and... Death, yeah, aw. Oh. Great, now Falsetto gets to kill him again. There, okay, that is really awkward. Alright. Come on, give us an epic last death. All right, there we go. And what? Boom! Oh, he's dead. Yeah, let's celebrate. And two hundred eighty thousand. God, we got a new weapons for uh, uh, God, Jazz and I was God. I was gonna say Frederick, uh, Algarito. God, stumbling over my words. And we gained four levels. Wow. <laughs> and considering I only died once, and of course the character that he decides to attack that last time he didn't, but whatever. Much better. And then, oh, nice. That was four levels, I think. I don't know. but And then, Jerry has gains, I think. Oh, three. Nice. Awesome. And he's still kind of low, but not too bad. Now we're at level five. Now, this level is awesome. I swear to God. All right. So, tactical time is now at zero. The action gauge will begin counting down immediately. So, remember how we used to have like one second before the time would start going down? Now it'll go down right as our turn starts. Um, but now we can use special attacks as counter attacks, and these characters' movement and speed is increased by 50%. Yes, every single character will end up running 1.5 times faster than they have in the past. So, that is awesome, especially when we have like the speed shoes that Allegretto has. It is awesome. I love being able to run faster so that is good and now we have harmony chains that are increased to three now we can use up to three special attacks and if they're allies within range then they'll be able to use theirs which is awesome as well um if you know we're like teaming up on a boss or something then it's really useful especially with jazz in our party but uh now we have 40 item slots so that is pretty cool and so there's that just gotta kind of fight smart and not have jazz die <laughs> looks like the old guy's the only one left <laughs> Yes, because everyone else left already. Nothing happens to Count Waltz, you know. This totally isn't an act of war or anything. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I suppose I have no. No. no, no, don't do it. It smells so terrible. Oh, oh, it's in my mustache. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's so delicious, but so vile. So, just like in every single other RPG known to man, the main enemy throughout the first half of the story, the first three-fourths of the story, ends up not even being the final boss. I can't think of a single instance in which that's the case. It's always some other character that comes in and intervenes, such as our friend Legato here, who turned into this giant weird thing. He was like, oh god, this hurts so bad. 
So there's this guy. Unfortunately, spoilers. We're not going to fight him right now. It'd just be it just make too much sense to just continue fighting, you know. <laughs> Quick, eat, beat while he's surprised. <laughs> Throws his head up and roars at the camera. He's like, I am beast. And chapter seven, heroic. So we're at the end of chapter six right there. Now, starting off chapter seven. Very nice. It's a pretty short chapter. And Jazz is the only one standing. And beat? How do you get up before everyone else? Hey, is everyone okay? I don't know about you, but I'm just damn glad my hat didn't fly away. <laughs> That's what she said. No, I'm just kidding. So apparently, look, I don't tore like a rip in space and time. And everyone's all up and stuff. All up, yep, up. The game is kind of slowing down right there. Did, did that old guy open up this hole somehow? Perhaps. What do you think? He's not really that old guy anymore. Wait a second. Crescendo and Serenade were just right here. What gives? And they're over here, and Serenade was standing, so let's go talk to him. Um, something must be done about... St oh, that's a Serenade. So there's that. If we try to go over here, we can't. This is if we wanted to go to Forte, but apparently that would just make too much sense. we just end up on the other side of, like, those cliffs that we had to go down the vines. Are all of you... Yes, we're okay. My rash acting is responsible for you. Yeah, whatever. It is your fault. Now, Corton, the people of Baroque must be worried about us as well. They probably even even noticed you're gone. <laughs> All right, so I have to go stop Legato. Blah, blah, blah. Let's continue onwards through the hole of death. Yes, we shall jump. Let's do it! <laughs> God. Like that, again, those... Uh, that Nightmare Before Christmas cliffs. We end up over here. And somehow, we don't end up, like, off the cliff. Because we're like... Okay. Don't go back to Mount Rock. Because, like... I don't know. It's like 20 feet away, and yet it jumps us over here. I don't know. That's just weird. We're going to head over here. And here we have kind of an interesting area. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool. But we're going to see all these, like, flaming ghost spirit things. And apparently we're, like, underwater or something because there's bubbles. 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 We got Elegy of the Moon. So I'm not, I don't think we're on the moon, but I don't know why they decided to call it that. So, we're going to walk here, and Polka's like, my gosh, this is just like my dreams. By golly goodness. <laughs> what? Where are we? Uh. His power was so immense, he actually managed to rip a hole in space. Really? Like, I didn't just get done saying that. <laughs> yeah, I like how he, like, punched the air. <laughs> Polka's like, What? Wait a second. Oh, yeah, I was... Wait, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the song in, uh... Wait, I'm trying to think. The song that we just killed Count Waltz to... I can't remember can't what that was from, like but this. I remember Come I didn't on. reference it. But this fight. song's pretty cool. Whoops. Oh, God, I forgot. I'll probably just put it up in subtitles. Uh, just what it reminds me of, but I don't know if, if I didn't mention it. But um, if we try and talk to these, the reds will be females. I used to love picking up a cake to take home and eat after work on the weekends. Working on, I never thought I'd become a magician from taking too much medicine, much less that I'd die. Hmm. So is that mineral medicine she's... Mineral powder she's referring to? Let's go talk to this guy. My daughter always used to say she hated me. She'd say I was a smelly bumpkin who never introduced to her friends. She said, well, that'd make you a bumpkin's daughter. <laughs> but when side effects got really bad, I never became able to use magic. She told me for the first time that she'd always looked up to me, that she'd always loved me. Oh, how sad. So we can keep talking to these guys, but not really. Now if we go over here, let's inspect this ugly pot. And we got a dark tail, which is something we're never going to need, never going to use, never going to care for. And if we inspect this barrel, we got a shining tail. How cute. Let's talk to this guy. What do you think will happen to me anyway? Will I be reborn? Hmm. So he came all the way from Retardana. After I was drafted as one of Forte soldiers, I went to a lot of different places. I even went to your town once. It's a little town by the sea, right? Wait, you're trying to be sympathetic with us so that we don't kill you, right? If we talk to this guy, this place, this place is the city of the dead. Those who die from taking mineral powder can't pass on to the next world, but they can't stay in this one. The city is for soul with no place to go. 
hmm, that sounds familiar. Now, if you have a ton of cash like I do, we're definitely going to want to stock up on stuff. So I guess it's just to my bones, even though I'm dead, I still want to sell things. Okay, so we're going to shop here. We're actually going to buy quite a bit of stuff now. We already got the Sunbringer, which is already weak. And we can get the uh, Golden Parasol. Magnum Arm, we already have... We already got... Do we get this? When did we get that? <laughs> I don't remember. All right, now we got the Lug Lagmafada. <laughs> Lagmafada. And then the Musapime, or the whatever. The Catacomb. Actually, no, we got a weapon that's better than that. All right, and we got the Celestial Gloves. Mm, all right, now we got Fragment. We're going to buy... Uh, crap. Do we want? There's because there's uh, okay. So we'll get the crescent cloak for Frederick, and then we'll get. Uh, what do we want? Okay, we'll buy. Uh, we'll buy one of these for Polka. Oops, I said one for Polka. And we'll buy three of these. No, four for March also. It's getting cut off. Chance sale. We'll get those two for them. And we're good. I can't believe we only have twelve angel trumpets. It's kind of weird. And we got floral essences, and this recovers full HP for one person. And we got heart clovers now, which are pretty cool. Uh, but the thing with those things, they take up way too much inventory space. I hate how they did that. And then uh, this is actually kind of cool. It's just recover. It's temporary, but it's okay, I guess. Not if we have like gloves or anything that help us. So let's equip some stuff really fast. We got. Uh, I don't think we got actually. Oh yeah, we got Jokel Snot. That's the new weapon. <laughs> Jokel Snot. Uh, now we got Fragment, and I think our characters learned a couple of new moves. I'll show this off in the next episode, because, uh, just because, you know, it's a lot better. I don't think our main characters learned anything, so we're going to use the... Wait a second, we got the... Is that the one we just got? Wait, the other one is p passive. Do we want passive? I don't care. Cursed Armor, we can finally take that off for the Fragment. And then, uh, I think we already got the best for that. Let's see, fragment or concealing? Yeah, fragment. And then PC. Oops, wait a second. Alright, and then, oh, I think, actually, yes, vital drain. Alright, so this one's okay. It attacks multiple enemies, but it, look at how much time it takes. It takes so much time, even though we can usually only do one attack anyway per turn now. 4.7 seconds is a lot, but to increase HP, it's not too bad. And then here, we already got that fog cloak for crescent cloak. And then also, I think Frederick gained a new dark attack. No. Light attack. Oh, wait a second. Oh, never mind. I guess not. But, um, let's stop that. And then we'll equip the last fragment on her. Uh, crap, we already learned everything. Alright. Now, her, she's got Lugla. That's. I don't know if that's our ultimate weapon, why it's doing that, but it's it's shiny, apparently. So I got the shiny bow. I don't think it'll show in battle, though, so. Oh, look, I rhymed. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Evil Strike. Nice. Alright, so we got Evil Strike, which is pretty good. Um, even though it's only one attack, it'll attack anywhere on the map, and it has a strong knockdown, so it's pretty it's pretty good. So, I would choose that for over Hawkeye. And then, did I already... Muspelheim. When did I equip... I just equipped that, didn't I? Wait a second. That's weird. And we got Concealing Jacket. Alright, that should be the last of our items. Or, oh, and we got Corona Stream. This one's okay. It's better than Solar Flare, I think. But uh, it's not too bad. I mean, for a light attack out of Solar Flare and Corona Stream, I'd probably pick Corona Stream. So. And then here, oh, we got Pure Geyser. This one is actually, I think we're going to switch that out for our best. It'll attack all enemies with the power of water, which is awesome. I'll definitely, I'll show off all the characters that learn new moves in the next episode, just because it's taking slightly longer and I don't want to get started on a new area um, or in a new chapter before, you know everything is done and done so so nice uh polka's our lowest level character which is no surprise there so that's so that's basically that let's go ahead up and save or continue on really fast uh just regular coal all right so <laughs> all right so stop turning this is the last time no oh he was a drogue we're gonna have to come back here in a sec just because this is kind of turning into a slightly lengthy episode so I'm just going to run, and that's where we're going to head off to in a second. But before we do anything else, we're going to definitely want to do this really fast. If we go ahead and inspect over here. No way, this is legendary rainbow easy eye. How much is it? Ten gold, that's cheap. And, of course, we just take it. <laughs> it's that cheap we decided just to not even pay for it. Uh, oh, no okay. game. So, anyway, we just killed Count Waltz. This is good times. Now we have to go stop Legato, which apparently is way over there. 
which isn't exactly the final area and there's a kind of some glitching textures right there in the sand but uh we're gonna go ahead and try and find legato and this next area actually has a ton of boss battles so we're probably gonna gain a lot of levels so uh, this is gonna be exciting uh we've probably only got a couple episodes left before the encore mode so yeah hope you guys are looking forward to that I'll talk to you guys later